Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the Up Next Fighting YouTube channel. I'm Denise Salcedo, standing with Chad George. So let's get into this here today. This is a really cool new setup that we got here. We're out here shooting all sorts of videos. It's Content Collection Day. Tell the people a little bit about what goes on at Content Collection Day here at Up Next Fighting. Well, it's really cool. I mean, if you've ever been to one of our content days, it's something completely unique and different that we do along the lines of something that nobody else does. You know, it's as an athlete, it's important to build your brand. You know, it's one of the things we talk about a lot is that you can't just rely on promotions. You can't rely on coaches. You can't rely on sponsors. It's something that you have to learn how to build yourself because when you start moving the needle, when you start putting butts in the seats, when you start being the one that people are coming to see, then things are happening for you. And you can be an exciting fighter, but without knowing how to build yourself as a brand, there's not much weight behind you for you to be able to say, hey, I need to be on that show. I need to be on a top billing. And, you know, one of the things we do at our content dates is we are trying to build these athletes to have the experience of what it takes to get them in the eyes of a promotion that wants to put them on big bills, get them, get them eventually big paychecks where they can get on the big shows because you can't have your first experience with that when you're in the UFC, when you're in Bellator, you need to be able to understand that this is what I've been doing all along this way. And our content collection days, like today, is is just another example of like the people that are being brought in, like yourself and, and me and these other amazing people and talent that we have on board the Up Next team, helping these athletes build their their brand and be like, hey, you are not just a fighter, you are a brand. And we're just, we're giving them the tools to succeed. So what are some examples of what fighters, aspiring fighters, can do to build their brand so that then when they do go to the UFCs or the Bellators that they are, you know, ready? Well, I think the, the first thing is that the athlete needs to understand it's not just about fighting, right? You have to understand how to use the platforms that are at your fingertips. You know, you have social media, you have YouTube, you have Instagram, Twitter, all these amazing things that are giving you free tools to get people to say, hey, look at who I am. I am going to be fighting on this day. Like, come see me. You got to tag the people that are there. You got to do little promotional pieces to get people interested because at the end of the day, you're already going to have the following of friends and family. But if you want to get the bigger audience, you have to go beyond that. You have to tell people why they want to come see you above everybody else. Because how many athletes are out there? How many fighters in the world are actually competing every weekend? What is going to set you aside? And that's what each athlete needs to learn how to do is why me? Not just because you're a good fighter. That's, 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 a, that's a piece of it. But why me? And that's what your opportunity is to build that. Who do you think does a really good job of that? Is there anybody, whether, you know, here at UNF or even, you know, in, in the UFC or in Bellator, who would you say is a really good person when it comes to branding themselves? I mean, I hate to say it, but look at Conor McGregor, right? He built his way up because of the way he sold himself. Now we've got guys like Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley is going to fight for the world title, not because I really think that he's the best fighter in the world. Many people don't think he is, but he – built his way there because of the brand and image that he's been able to do on social media and the way he presents himself. You got guys like Colby Covington jumping the lines. You know, you got, got these people that may or may not be the best talented guy to earn the spot, but they earn the spot because of what they do behind the scenes. And that is what's so important as an athlete needs to understand that it's what you are doing to promote yourself because nobody can want it more than you. And if you are not showing that you want it more than the other people that are, are, are hungry, then you are going to get left behind even if you're the more talented athlete. Now, here's the thing, because it, all of this stuff is so important, but I do think that sometimes people might be a little bit scared or a little bit, like, maybe apprehensive about putting themselves out there in that manner. And, you know, everything's about numbers. And sometimes you see that, you know, people on TikTok, they already have millions, and you're like, oh, my God, I'm just getting started. How am I ever going to compete with those people? Same thing with YouTube, Instagram, any social media platform. So if you're someone that's starting at zero and you've never opened yourself up like that, what can you do? Like, where, where do you start? You know, it's just like um, the best way I look at it is you want to lose weight, right? You want to lose X amount of pounds. It doesn't matter about what the end goal is, but you have to start, right? You have to start with something. And you can compare yourself to all these people that have millions of followers, but every, even those people, they started with one. And they started with, then they got two. Then they got three. And then they got a little bit of momentum. So, but it does start with 
understanding what you want your brand to be about and just start promoting that. If you like, you like watching fights, do a breakdown of a fight. If you like doing techniques, do a breakdown of a technique. If you like going on runs, like do, do just, just, just promote what you enjoy. And if it reflects on what you're doing as a career, well, then you're already on the right path. But if you are waiting back and be like, okay, it's not the right time, it's never going to be the right time. And then by the time you finally actually have your moment, it's not enough built. You know, when I was getting started, there was no social media. There was nothing like that. We had to create our own ways of building brands. I mean, I was creating my own posters because there was no uh, promotion behind it. I was doing weird, crazy hairstyles, anything that I could to get people to be like, I remember that guy. And those were the days where I wish we would have had things like this. I wish we would have had content days like this, right? Like the fact that these tools are here, we shouldn't be fighting against why I don't want to do this. It literally should be like, how can I make it better? Exactly. And I do get you what you mean also when it comes to like niching. And I know some people sometimes get nervous. It's like, okay, what videos am I going to post? But the key word that you said in all of this is post about what you love because people connect with that. If people see that you love what you're talking about or you love what you're covering, uh, people that share those same interests are going to connect with you. And I do think that's something that's so important in order to build a brand and then get people to follow you and continue, you know, and move it forward with promoting your fights and all of that. There's like this uh, sort of like this uh, love mark relationship type of deal. So that is really cool. Now, I do also want to ask you about UNF9 July 1st. Now, we are coming off of back-to-back shows that we did for 7 and 8. And now here we are, uh, UNF9. And tell us a little bit about some of the differences, something new that's going down on the show, something we might expect. Well, I mean – Every show we put on is new and unique from the one before. So that's one of the things that I think everybody now nine shows in can expect. They're like, man, going into nine, 10, 11, what are they going to bring to the table? And this one's going to be special. You know, it's our, it's our, it's our 4th of July theme show. And you know that we have a lot of cool things set up for this, but most importantly for this show, I think it's about the talent. It's about who we have on the card, what we're bringing to the table. We have an exciting main event um, between Cisco Rivera and, um, and Josh Kim. And that's going to be that's going to be awesome. And then we've just got a stacked card from top to bottom. And there's going to be a lot of fights, a lot of great energy. And uh, it's just it's going to keep in line with everything we've been doing. I mean, we have a lot to pick up after for our double header because that's going to be a tough one to uh, to beat. So this is this is going to be a great show. And uh, I'm excited for it as always going to be a good good time well chad thank you so much for chatting with me here today and thanks to everyone who's watching do not forget to subscribe to the channel hit a like on this video and we'll catch you next time